that tone, it's a real money in the room. <laughs> like this. <laughs> OG, um. That's a new one now. Let's go. I, I don't want to leave like on the. Because it always sounds so. It, I know you just telling your story, you telling okay, the go. experience, and I, I I see the message. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't okay, okay. deal in the mess. Let's go. But when when you talk about what you did or what your sons did, have have you ever experienced a stabbing where you were stabbed in prison? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, stabbed me in my back. I really don't want to. Uh. <laughs> That's how I ended up in prison. Bars. <laughs> well, this shit be jumping over you niggas. Still <laughs> gonna quit playing with me in jail. Tell you from a crib. Man, I had a little partner named Little Sprague that I was talking to about that one while ago. That was my partner. Mm. And guess what? Me and my partner, we was in the cell. We knew we was young kids, y'all. We was young. Me and Little was young. Shout out to Sprague, man. I'll never forget you, homie. Uh, anybody in West Texas, Midland, Texas that know Leonard Sprague and Lynn Sprague, his brother, and his, they other little brother, Jeremy or Jason Sprague, tell them three brothers, man, they know OG Percy the truth. I never forgot about him. Uh, tell them a crip, Sprague brothers, nigga. But anyway, Leonard Sprague was my main dog, but um, Leonard Sprague said, man, we, we ended up being sellers. Now, one thing about Leonard, I met Leonard in the streets. Mm -hmm. I met Leonard running over his other brother, Lynn, with a car. <laughs> oh, they was thold. These are two thold brothers. These, when I say the Spragler brothers, if you don't know who they is in Midland, you ain't from the square. Cause them two brothers, when they was younger, was wow, they had rap. Real, 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 real bad. But they had that new rap which came out the drop before they put the cut on it. You know, the Spice Ones, the NWA, mm. the Top Authority, the Dayton family. Mm. You know, like Brother Lynch. You hear me? Yeah, we were out here going. It was well, Lynch back then. You know, yeah, Sebo, um, the real Master Pete. You understand me? Yeah, that's that real, that's when the rap had drop and no cut on it. But anyway, they had rap. And I one day I was in the cut and I seen these two boys fighting each other. And one of them had a goddamn cast on his foot, a half a cast come, on, on, covering his shin. I'm like, damn. And they were still fighting with the cast out like this. Let me tell y'all something about Midland, Texas. For y'all that don't know nothing about the west side of Texas, uh, that's where I got my hands from. I came from the country. It's so one thing I learned about country niggas in Midland, they would whoop any from any state, from Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, uh, yeah, mopping this up, a West Texas nigga fight hard. Uh, when I went to West Texas, that's the first time I seen a nigga fight somebody and didn't pull a gun. I was like, oh, I know a nigga for the kill this nigga. You just thinking that way because you from Fort Worth. Oh, they don't do that shit down here. You gonna shoot that nigga? No, and I, and I walked, when I went to Midland, I found out how fast people fight. These mother, it, it ain't the city. Y'all do. Soon as you go, scary ass. Now I know it. Pull out something. Don't never go to Midland and you ain't got nothing. One thing about everybody in Midland, they big. I was born in Midland Memorial Hospital. I, I, got, I got the cut up body. My little brother Dave, we, we used to sit, look at that and say we were big. Them big. If y'all don't know, Midland League Rebels used to be the coldest football team for years, centuries. Midland League and Permian Odessa. I think Permian, they wrote a movie, made a movie and a book on Permian. Permian Mojo. Yes, yes, sir. Y'all look it up. The Permian Mojo. Um, well, Midland League and, 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 and the Permian, they was the rival team because they were right next door to each other. Um, but saying that to say this, down there be. When y'all look at him, you'll swear. These boys, boys wait, hey, he played high school? That nigga ain't high school. Oh, yeah, he in 11th grade. God damn. Where you go, Midland? The shots at you like Ferris Stramman. R.I.P. to Wayman, Wayman Goodley. Shots at you like Dennis Sterling. James Gray, Urban Ferris. Yeah, y'all yeah, know these names ringing bells from the community. I'll never forget y'all. Cold football players that have made it up from Midland, Texas. But anyway, saying that to say this, I'm from the west side of Texas. Leonard Spragan was my best friend, was my partner. I, I, found, I seen him in the cut fighting his brother one night. And when him and his brother fight, they said, his brother? And they were fighting so hard, I was like, damn, these little niggas fight. These little young niggas fighting. And then one of them jumped in the car and ran over the other one. I said, now these niggas ain't just fighting. These niggas crazy in the mother. And the nigga was standing there like, come on, come on. That nigga, that nigga said, uh, bam. I said, no, nah, I got, I 
fucked up. I jumped up and did so I didn't have no business, y'all. What you do? I got in the fight. Run him over with the car cool. <laughs> God damn. And guess what? I got mad at the driver. I ran up on the driver like, cuz you hit the with the car, bro. You be doing no shit like that. Out of nowhere, stood up behind the car like, damn. Like he was like Jason or some shit. I'm back. Then he just run over you. I thought you was gonna twist it up. <laughs> he ran over with the car, bro. He said, nah, man, that's my brother. I got this. Talking to me. That's my brother. I got this. I got this. Watch out, homeboy. I got. I said, it's your brother. He said, yeah, I got this. He said, yeah, go on, get your ass out that car. And then brother jumped up and he went to fight me again. I said, this is crazy. I never seen that young man again in my life. One day I was sitting in my jail cell and I was just sitting there, uh, in my cell and I looked up. They said, Devin, oh, you said I got a new cell. I looked up. It, I said, little nigga, say, didn't I see you having a fight like last week somewhere? Yeah, then I'll fight my brother in the flats. Yeah, yeah, that was me. He said, yeah, you tried to help him out. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. He said, yeah, you know, you locked up. Me, him, and the man locked up. Me and Sprague ended up, you know, doing a lot of time in the cell. Me and Sprague used to wake up and go ahead. And then, yeah, I was still on, though, y'all. I wasn't nothing but like 20, 20 years old at this time, mm. you know. Oh yeah, I like 20 years old at this time. I'm like, yeah, that's, I know that. That's what they're like 30 something years ago. <laughs> 50. <laughs> um, 20 something. 30 something? About 34 years ago. Oh yeah, my memory's still good. But anyway, Sprague walked in the cell. Yeah, Me and Sprague became the best of friends. Thank you. I, his daddy, his daddy, and my daddy used to, he said, yeah, my daddy was just with your daddy. That's how me and him got cool. Because eventually me and him would have fell out because the nigga I was, the nigga he was. When he came in the cell, we didn't talk that much the first day. And then he just told me, he said, yeah, I just seen your daddy in the flat. I said, you know my daddy? He said, yeah, your daddy. Then I said, yeah, his daddy and my daddy was cool like this. And then his daddy come up here and visit me and my daddy come visit. They be together. They said, me and me and Abba Jr. finna go shoot some pool. Abba Jr. is my daddy. So Sprague, me, me and him said this, and our daddy's friends out there. Oh, we kicking it. We kicking it. We in the cell, man. We had me and Sprague. We get our push-ups on and we like to do dips. Spray like wings, or he like his wings to stick out. And then I just like my traps and my arms be big, so we do dips all day long. Just dips and push-ups. Sit around, no, have our fun. We was doing our time. Uh. Tell us my crib. We sitting in the cell one day. We got locked down. We decided we going to start a ride on, on the block and, and just, you know, take over the jail cell. Uh. And, and kidnap one of the guards and, and put, bring him in on the block and hold him ransom. <laughs> and we were up like that, y'all. Oh, you ain't gotta believe me. You got a news, nigga. You not a read, nigga. You can hear me. Uh, you can look it up. You can look for uh, Sheriff Painter, Gary Painter. Hello. Yeah. If I gotta say the sheriff name, let y'all know. I know the sheriff, Sheriff Gary Painter. Y'all can look up Gary Painter. Yeah. Yeah. I am. A, I am a sheriff. Get. I am under Sheriff Gary Painter uh, jurisdiction. You understand me? But anyway, uh, with one of the toughest white boys you will never want to when it come down to law. And to let y'all know he did run the city of George Bush, of the Bushes, Midland, Texas. No, the Bushes is from Texas, Midland. All field money. It's all, ain't number all laying down there. Yeah, and Sheriff Gary Painter do own that. Matter of fact, it's not even a state place. If you catch the crime of Sheriff Gary Painter now, it will be a federal offense because you are on federal ground. Ain't no such thing as no state jail no more. State jail now, prisons now, you go to feds. But anyway, me and Fed, me, me and Sprague end up being cool. Me and Sprague to go to say, he said, man, you know, Sprague, me what one time because I seen him going to that same beach mode he do with me fighting his brother. He just woke up one day and said, man, I'm tired of being this motherfucker. I'm going to whoop this. So I, I heard him, man, I, I raised my coat. He said, yeah. He told him, go say, open my door. He started mashing the button to get out of his cell. You mash the button, your door come open. He, said, he, he got out the cell, so I got up out of my bunk. said, what's going on, Sid? What's up? So he said, man, I'm getting tired of these. Man, I'm just getting tired of these. He said, I'm going to whoop this down here. So he said, damn. So he went down to the cell, he, he stuck his hand inside the dude's cell, and he hit the, he hit the dude's button so the door opened. And when he heard the door pop, pop, I seen Sprague do some fun. He walked up in the cell, and they just went to fight. I said, ooh, God damn it, I'm alive. I said, I don't like this. Nigga, I went and did a nigga. Hit me a button. I hit me a button, told, told him, yeah, yeah, get up, me and you. Jumped out the bed that day. One spray guy, he wasn't waiting on him. I warned mine like a dumb ass. I should have just jumped him when he was in the bed. <laughs> like Sprague did the one he did. I said, yeah, get on up. He jumped up. That jumped up like, what's up? And hell, me and just get to fight in that. 
Man, me, me and Spread popped about four doors that morning. <laughs> Fighting, tripping. That was my partner. Then I said, man, you know, we finna go to prison. We about to start stabbing. <laughs> so um, me and him said we gonna practice on our shank game in the cell. So me, me and him made, made us some shanks in the cell one time. That never forget, y'all. I don't, oh, there you go. <laughs> if I don't find it, you'll never find it. The first hit, uh, uh, stabbed me in my arm, y'all. He poked me, <laughs> he, ran a, he ran a pencil up in my, uh, my arm right here, y'all. He stuck me, he stabbed me with a pencil. And then he turned around and poked me in my back right here. That was, that was his first stab. He said, I'm going to see if I can stab somebody. He stabbed me in my back, y'all, with a pencil. It, it stuck, and he, he hit me on the arm first when he went to stab me. Bam! I said, what? And when he hit me right here, he reached around, then he hit me on the back. I said, God damn. And after that, the war was on. Um, by the time them guards came to our cell, they had to bring a mop. Stabbed each other up in that. Me and my partner sprayed, though. That's your partner? Y'all did each other like that? Yeah. And we laughed about it after cause we went to jail. They took both of us to solitary together. They said, y'all in here fight, we ain't fight, we just bullshit, man. He said, nigga, look at you. I had split, I had, I got cheated. I took a razor blade. Instead of poking with the pencil, I took my razor and I sliced him across the arm and all you seen was white meat. I said, oh, cuz I didn't mean to do it. He said, no, nah, no. Nah. And that nigga sliced me across my arm until <laughs> he seen white meat. You know you finna get that now, nigga. Every time he throw something, I nick him on his arm. Every time he try to throw his arm out there, I nick him. Nick him. Ah, damn. I, 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 I start hitting him all on the, here or there. It didn't matter. Just stick your hand out there again. <laughs> and I'm going to nick him. But, you know, he was having a little fun trying to make our time worth something. But trying to make our time worth something, we didn't know we were losing time and wasting time. One time we was one time we was sitting in the cell one morning. I never forget me he was just sitting there. You know, one of the officers came to the door. He said, "Little Spraggy," he said, "They want to talk to you." Then I said, "I'm like, oh, I don't want to take him my cell too." Took my cell. He came back, and I seen the look on Sprague's face that I never seen in my life. And I never when he came back and said he bumped something against the wall. And he slid down and hit the floor. He dropped his head in like this. I said, I said, everything all right, man? And then he looked at me, y'all, and it hurt my feelings just to see my partner crying, nigga. It hurt me to see him cry that you been cool, man. I'm talking, he had a look in his face like, damn, man. Damn, you all right, bro? I said, what's up? He said, man, my daddy just got killed. Mm -hmm. And a head-on collision coming down the highway. Truck veered into his lane and pow. He was gone, man. Then I started thinking about my daddy. How my heart started beating fast in the mud. Shit. Who was with him? <laughs> I started thinking because you know him and me and my daddy always be together and they be chilling. Him and my daddy is cool. He said, no, nah, my dad was coming down the highway and got hit. I got hurt for him, but I got scared for my daddy. Then life starts sinking in. Reality starts sinking in. You can lose a life sitting in here. You're losing life, you're wasting life, and you can lose lives while you're sitting in here. You're losing life, you're wasting life, and you're losing lives while you're sitting in here. Me and Sprague got cool, man, and uh, to see him hurt, got to go to the daddy front and come back, and you know, we rolled it out. But Leonard Sprague was my partner. One morning we decided we gonna go on another venture. You know, a couple of months later we gonna set this motherfucker off like we've been looking at too many prison stories. So one day we found a Mexican that had uh, life sentence for killing his wife at the Minutes in the parking lot in Midland, Texas. Dad gave him life, he wasn't never going home. So he said he agreed to jump in the plot. So what's the plot? Nigga, we want more this and more this and more this. So we got 
you doing life, I'm doing this, we, we, we fuck. And let's just put the plan together. Now we in the cell planning this shit. But you know me, I'm just talking. I know you do this shit, they don't work. Nigga, dumb ass, nigga. We just sitting there talking about, you know, whenever they come, man. So one day we had a meeting. Yeah, the Mexicans came up through y'all talking about this shit. So we in this shit, man, I'm on me, man. When y'all gonna do this shit? Shit ain't gonna work. And we ain't gonna get out. But we're gonna have a goal. We're gonna. And so they said, if anybody get in trouble, it'd be the one that already got a life sentence. They can't do nothing else to him. So y'all watch this. Y'all, man, this man came off and then this Mexican. One thing about you Mexicans, I don't fuck with y'all. You know why I don't fuck with Mexicans? Why not? They lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to. When I say that, I don't fuck with y'all. I mean, if I ain't up to do something, I ain't gonna fuck with y'all and say I am. Hello? Y'all didn't catch that, did they? I say I don't fuck with y'all because if I ain't going to do something, I ain't going to fuck with y'all and say that I am. Because I know one thing. If y'all say y'all going to do it. Y'all going to do it. Hello? I say they gonna, they just on the top because I already need to talk. I know y'all just talking with y'all. One thing when I see that mess do his hand like this in that day room, say it's up, it's going down. I say for real. <laughs> for real. The one thing, when they went to grab the guard, the guard ended up getting away. Oh, y'all know y'all in trouble. <laughs> I mean, they were pulling that mother and everything, man. They tried to grab his ass and put him off in there, man. The man and beat him on the walk and talking to the, to, the, to the goddamn me, boom. So, bam, the far as they got was, the far as they fucked up, when one of them ran out the door locked behind him, now this dumb Oh, now he outside. With them. Because he went in and the door ended up... The door we was holding, he was holding his foot when he was holding the door. He was trying to hold the door and hold the law because he had the law right. at the same time trying to pull him in. Right. The law ended up getting too far up away from him. And then he was holding on trying to get the law and guess what? His foot came away from that door and that door shut. Okay. So we won't lose it all. Okay. And the door shut behind him. Now he's stuck inside the Sally port <laughs> with the other law and this, he don't know hip is on the way. But we don't give a Help better go on come, cause help come through this door, we whooping every come through this We done turned up. We done turned up. Oh, but they came back. Turtles, come on. Now, they tried to drop the bean shoot and set the pepper spray in on us. My partner grabbed the can as soon as he came in and slung the back out the bean shoot. Soon as they did the Mexicans, boy, I love you. Boy, you Mexicans are fit for war. When it come down to doing like that, if you ain't got no message, don't do nothing with no. I'm sorry, black folks. Y'all don't be prepared like they do. Mexicans was coming out with we ain't know they prepared for. Mexicans put a sheet over the bean shoot. When the man shot the gas in, the sheet went right back to them. I said, God, you would have been in there trying to catch it, put it out, grab the mother, put on your mask and shit. Instead of being in that mother, Mexicans all grab it, throw it back out. I said, Woo, you better. I, I said, I'm clapping for them, and he was getting down. Nigga, I'm supposed to be in. What I'm supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be waiting for them to come in and whoop all our ass when they come through this door or eat some of the tear gas. One of the other. Mm. Mean Sprague went through a lot. Mean Sprague got, woke up one morning and uh, make a long story short on that. We went on lockdown for like 30 days. <laughs> um, we trashed out the whole block. We lived in filth for about like 30 days. Then the mayor, uh, Sheriff Gary Painter, uh, the internal revenues, and and everybody else pulled up in, because we was all on the news about acting the fool, trying to kidnap a girl. We made news, and we went to clap. Ah, y'all real, we on the news. The Turn County Jail, and then the Midland County Jail want a piece of the action. We just want some better trade. We eating good after that, I swear. But anyway, uh, me and Sprague went through our time. Then one day, my partner Sprague, you know, we started Sprague and Levin Deuce Crip. He Levin Deuce and I'm fire, dude. So we hear this roll, we did our time, and, uh, one thing we didn't know, the party would have to end one day. And one day they yelled, Chang! I said, what's spray? They said, Sprague, get up. Demerson, Sprague. They took Sprague. I said, where you going? He said, catching the chain. Oh, shit. He looked at me and I looked at him like, damn. They said, well, I said, yeah. It's time to go. And he said, all right, cool. I said, all right, cool. Damn, he going before I do. We like to see we holding the mother seas. 
don't want to be though. Back then, you could correspond through the mail to each other. I could write your partner. And we kept up with each other every day. Me said, "Yeah, I'm over here on B though." Woo, woo, woo. And that's when he wrote me back and said, "Man, knock my teeth out of the kitchen." <laughs> Didn't nobody whoop you, spray. That's when you find out you just thought you was a monster. I, I, I couldn't even believe what he told me. He said, yeah, knock my tooth out in the kitchen. Man, he get his teeth knocked out. I can too. Shit, God damn. But I went down there and didn't lose a trophy. I didn't start losing teeth till I got old. <laughs> but on that note, My partner came home. Uh, he used to be in jail jacking off about this girl named Rachel. And Rachel was so beautiful and pretty, I was like, God damn, nigga, yeah, man, I'm, I'm fuck, man, Rachel ain't gonna wait, want your black ass, and he got the teeth knocked out down, he's like a whole saber tooth tiger now. Oh, I didn't worry about none of that, dude. but he was a real guy, man, and he just fantasized. You know how people fantasize about somebody who can be what they can't be with? Well, that's what Sprague was, but guess what? I'm going to end this on this note. I talked to my boy Sprague. He said, I mean, I'm just sitting here with my wife, nigga, just sitting there chilling. I said, yeah, I'm glad you came home, got your ass married, and got out the world. Out there, he been on for a long time. And, 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 then, and then, boy, he in there. And then he, he talking about this girl named Rachel, and guess who he come home and marry? Hmm. Rachel, boy. It's <laughs> a good ending. <laughs> the block, I swear to God. I'm sitting here with my wife. Right? Oh, no! She married her. Nigga, she, I swear she wasn't going to never f with you. Bad as a month. That's how I used to mean. I'm thinking about Rachel. There ain't no Rachel. She don't even know you like her. I know, but if I get a chance to talk to her, oh. Because that's like you going up to Beyonce trying to get some pussy. Nigga, you ain't going to get nothing. Tune. We went to work. We went to work. Hey, real tune. It's some real money in the room.